the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 188, Isaiah 40 to 42. Isaiah's prediction of John the Baptist. Only God, who called Abraham his friend and chose Jacob, could save those in South Judah who lived without hope. First point, Isaiah made a prophecy about John the Baptist, who would come in the future. Through Isaiah, God explained how the people of South Judah who were to be taken to Babylon as captives would return. This was God's pre-telling his people of their salvation. Although the people of South Judah were to be punished for their sins, they were nevertheless still regarded as God's people. But furthermore told them of the coming of John the Baptist. Later on in the full Gospels, the writers referred to Isaiah's records to introduce John the Baptist. This is he who was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make a straight path for him. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make a straight path for him. John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am the voice of one calling in the wilderness, make straight the way for the Lord. In prophesying about sending John the Baptist, God teaches us the truth about finite life. The grass with us and the flowers fall because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass, the grass with us and the flowers fall but the word of our God endures forever. Later, Peter uses this in his letter. For all people are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass with us, and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. Second point. Isaiah cried to the people of South Judah to look to God only. Through Isaiah, God taught the people of his enormous power. Surely the nations are like a drop in a bucket. They are regarded as dust on the scales. He weighs the islands as though they were fine dust. Lebanon is not sufficient for altar fires, nor is animals enough for burnt offerings. Before him, all the nations are as nothing. They are regarded by him as worthless and less than nothing. God rebuked the people for worshiping idols rather than their creator. Isaiah proclaimed to the people to only follow God, and that all those who turned to him would be given new strength. Third point, God called Abraham his friend through Isaiah. God told Isaiah of the long future ahead, and this involved the fall of a Babylonian empire via Cyrus II of Persia. Only God could proclaim such plans. God explained that the Persian empire would destroy the Babylonian empire, and that the whole world would come to fear the Persian empire. But God told his people not to be afraid as they were always under his protection. To his people with whom he made his covenant, he called them, My servant Abraham, Jacob, and also my friend Abraham. This was to tell them not to be afraid, even when they were taken as captives to Babylon. Fourth point, through the book of Isaiah, we can fathom that the Bible is one story about Jesus Christ. The Bible is one story of Jesus and beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures 
concerning himself. All the books of the prophets have their unique message and also all point in one direction. All the records of Jesus in the Bible have their foundation in Moses' writing as well as reference to the prophets. Thus, the books of the prophets are prerequisites in reading the four Gospels. Jesus' word is that the temple was for all nations to pray had been preset in Isaiah. Jesus' suffering was also predicted in Isaiah. Jesus' ministry was also pre-recorded in Isaiah. Jesus' expression of God as our Father was also pre-recorded in Isaiah. Isaiah 40 verse 3 pre-records the beginning of Jesus' ministry and also John the Baptist. And Isaiah 64 verse 8 pre-records Jesus' words of calling God our Father and the end of his ministry. Fifth point, Isaiah proclaimed to the whole world to praise God's glory. God is more than worthy of praise. We were born in order to praise our Creator. Isaiah sang that all humans should praise God, who was to send his Son, Jesus Christ, for the salvation of the world. No news can overcome this or be bigger than this. St. Paul, who realized this at a later stage, confessed in one of his letters, and he died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference, and when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible, and he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story, and then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.